Welcome to Working with Mad Mapper and Quartz, uh, a small movie that was just um, shown within the uh, YouTube channel for the Think Forward, shows the output of this particular file. I just wanted to show you how this was put together um, and break it down just to show you how actually easy it was. Now what we have here, if I just uh, minimize this view, here's an example of the background image and you can see when I make a noise, um, it reacts to the noise and this was mapped to the background which I've sort of taken out just so we can see it more clearly so I'm just going to bring back my view again for the input output view so here's all the quads that were set up so if I go to the quads a number of quads just brought in here um, and if I go back to um, my import files here you can see that I've just got two files in here I'll click on another one now within this file format um, you'll see that this is MadMap 1.4 and we have Quartz Composer. So all you need to do when you want to bring any Quartz file into MadMapper, just to show you how easy it is, all I did was simply go up to File and go Import Media and just go through and locate your um, Quartz file. I don't have it here, but if I just go back into this area down here, you'll see that um, provided I go to the Quartz itself, make sure you go to Images, Movies or Quartz, but, um, and you can see that here is the file here, um, and I've probably got another one as well, but this is the file that I use, and it just comes up as a Quartz file. Now to use Quartz, you do have to install um, Quartz Composer from the developer CD from your install disk, um, and you do have to sign in as a developer, doesn't cost you anything once you've got it that's fine I think believe you can download it as well but it's actually on your disk okay so I'm just going to go back and close that for a minute within the file here I have um, two examples I can bring other files in so I can work with this on the fly and in fact I did for the actual presentation went through a number of different movies in different states from uh, linear to Siphon and of course Quartz. I also created a range of um, presets. So apart from just having the surfaces, the presets here, if I jump through and click on them, you can see how they change, um, which map to different um, proportions or settings that was used for the, the mapping on the the images and the surfaces um, that were being projected on. So as you can see here, um, there are a range of different presets. So what I could do, for example, if I click this one, it'll change back to whatever preset I set up with the files that were loaded. So at the moment there's two files loaded and we have um, Quartz, Composer, Shapes and the Intro Launch. And these are two different um, Quartz Composer files. I could have more. You just have to watch you don't tax your system too much, so make sure you've got enough RAM, etc., for um, whatever you're doing. But as I said, I launched um, some Siphon things into this as well for the presentation and um, also some linear um, movie formats. But just to show you how this is going, I'm just going to close this one for the time being and just zoom that up so we can see here's the file here, I'll just go back again and it'll just jump to another file and I better go to the actual output shape here just blow it up once more and that's how it was fitting um, any of these surfaces too, if you go back to this area here or the actual um, quads themselves you can flip things around and do a number of different things including colors and blending modes as well um, and this is all explained in an earlier movie. But here is the setup. Uh, what we're going to do is actually build that in Quartz Composer. And um, so you understand how it works. We'll make it a little bit simple so it's easier to understand. What I'm going to first do is I'm just going to um, close Quartz, uh, not Quartz, but uh, Mad Mappy here. And I'm just going to open this file up directly in Quartz Composer. So if I just click on it like so. Here is the file, I'll just bring it into the, to the size format here. And I'm just going to close this for the time being in the inspector. 
and um, just so we can see what's going on here I'm just going to bring the file in like so it's reacting to the sound but it was basically uh, just one file that's been put together so this is what we're going to first do create something like so using 3D objects as well and map the different surfaces that all respond to sound I'm not going to worry about a background um, gradient um, at this stage, just going to stay with black but we're going to just put the key things together okay so that's working with Mad Mapper and Quartz Composer uh, this is movie number one the second movie is going to start and show you how this was built from scratch and imported all the way through